Hey, how's it going everyone? So I filed out a request to do actual benchmarks with the GTX 560s. These are the ASUS DirectCU2, if you guys haven't seen my other videos. But anyways, what I have done is I actually ran um, 3D Mark 11 with SLI enabled, disabled, and then I ran it uh, with SLI enabled on extreme mode. Now with performance mode, um, here I'll actually turn the base full screen. Give me a sec. With performance mode, with SLI disabled, I was able to get a score of, uh, as you guys can see, 4,078. With it enabled, I got 6,745. Now, if you take a look at differences, the graphic score uh, doubles basically, and uh, on each one, each test, on test one, two, three, four, basically everything. Uh, nearly doubles. It's uh, very, very nice to see that. Um, so basically, the scaling is pretty darn good with these two cards, and these cards overclock extremely well. And if, make sure you guys aren't trolling me. Uh, this is my specs, obviously. And what's not cool about 3D Mark 11, what they should probably update is instead of saying just a single GTX 560, they should include SLI and in that, but they don't. So that's something they should uh, consider doing. Now. One thing is, uh, my um, I have a 965X, you know, the AMD uh, CPU, so that's going to be different for you guys probably. So my physics score and my combined score is going to be slightly different, so we should be looking at is the graphic score, because that's what you can calculate in. the Because I have a um, X4965 running at 3.7 gigahertz. I can actually pop this open and show you guys. Sorry, I got a little bit of a cold I'm trying to get over. Alright. As so you guys can see, um, I've got it up to about 4.1 gigahertz, but this is my everyday uh, speed that I go to. And uh, for extreme, this is what I have. Now remember, extreme setting is everything is uh, maxed out basically, and running at uh, full HD. These scores are going to be pretty ridiculously low, so because that benchmark is ridiculous. But yeah, that is my X, which is extreme. But yeah, that's just a quick look at the SLI on off with the GTX 560s, and uh, I'll let you guys be the judge. But um, considering that the score is nearly double and the FPS basically double as well I would say that this is definitely worth it and uh, I'm not sure what the GTX uh, 480 gets in the graphic score range but uh, that's something you guys can look into and determine if it's worth it you know getting two 560s uh, and you know outperforming a, a 580 or just getting I don't know a 590 which is like 500 bucks but I'll let you guys be the judge of that but yeah, that's pretty much it for uh, this video. Um, I have these games up here, so if you guys want me to do um, any of, uh, you know, in-game performance reviews, I can definitely do that. Actually, I'm missing a couple. But, uh, but yeah, if you guys think of a game and you guys want me to do a benchmark, just uh, hit me up, you know, message me. Anyways, guys, take care. Peace.